Well, welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 169, Math Fluency Through Flexibility. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Before we get into the episode, this week's positivity comes from a paper sent in by a participant in one of my flexibility formula courses. This course was one of the most helpful and practical professional development experiences that I've had in my 18 years of teaching. I have to say that as a teacher who has always loved to teach reading and writing, I am now most excited to plan and teach math, as I am energized by the daily growth I see in my students, as well as my own growth as a teacher. And that came from Julia. Thank you so much, Julia. I am uh, honored to be a part of your math journey and so glad that the course has helped you and your students. I'll be opening up registration to my online courses. Actually, it opened this weekend. (laughs) I'm recording this ahead of time, but when you're listening to this or watching it, it's actually open right now. So the flexibility formula is open and it's all about how kids in kindergarten through fifth grade build their flexibility with numbers. You can go to buildmathminds.com slash courses, then click on the link of the course that you are interested in to learn more and to enroll in the course. Or I will also post links on the show notes page, which for this episode is buildmathminds.com slash 169. So back in 2014, I wrote a little book called Fluency Through Flexibility, How to Build Number Sense for Numbers 0 through 20. That book is all about building students' flexibility with the numbers 0 through 20 to help them build their fluency with addition and subtraction within 20. We all want our students to be fluent in math, but we often spend too much time on the end product of getting correct answers instead of the underlying foundation needed to get to that end product, which is students' number sense. That's what lays the foundation. I had actually originally started writing the book to help teachers with fact fluency and helping their students develop all those strategies that we know like doubles and make a 10. However, every time I try to write about getting students to that end product of using strategies to be quick with their facts, I kept thinking about the underlying number sense that kids need in order to make sense of what they're doing with those strategies. I later turned the ideas from that book into an online course for K2 teachers. And then I was asked like, what about older students? So now we have the flexibility formula K2 and the flexibility formula 3-5 that delve into how to lay a foundation of number sense for your students that helps them become fluent with mathematics. That's why it's fluency through flexibility. We've all probably experienced it ourselves or at least seen it in our students, that facade of fluency. It's when we've kind of memorized something to just get correct answers, but we didn't truly understand it. On page two of my book, Fluency Through Flexibility, I wrote, learning your Facts can be done by memorization, but if we want children to be fluent with their facts, then we need to focus on developing their flexibility, not just their memorization capabilities. We can memorize anything for a short period of time, but what we should really be trying to get our children to do is recall their facts. When a child cannot instantly pull a fact out of his memory, he will revert back to counting on his fingers if he does not have a flexibility with numbers. So how do we recall information quickly if it is not memorized? The more connections we make to information, the easier it is to recall that piece of information. I go on to show an example of some of the connections kids should be building around the fact six plus seven. I've since expanded that visual into something like this, but it basically, if you're listening instead of watching, 
It is all of these connections, like the different strategies, things that kids notice, having visuals, seeing it in a context, all of those go into playing into building that foundation that helps kids be flexible thinkers when they don't just know the fact. And the more connections they have, the easier it is to recall that information. Now, my book is for early elementary kids, but I'm working on one for grades three through five because the idea about fluency through flexibility is for all grades. It's the idea that when we build a child's flexibility with numbers, they become more fluent. It doesn't matter what grade they are. That's why I created my online course for elementary educators, the flexibility formula. We need to spend time on building a foundation of number sense and helping kids build connections. However, our textbooks typically don't help us with that. Inside the course, I give you the eight number sense concepts that kids need to build, information on how to observe to see if your students have them or not, what types of connections we should be helping them build, and then I give you experiences that you can provide in your classroom to help your students build their flexibility with numbers. If you're wanting to get started on building fluency with your students by working on their flexibility, you can always buy the book, but for 3-5, the book's coming later. So for now, come enroll in the course. It gives you so much more information than the book does. There is the K2 version and the 3.5 version of the course, and registration is only open, depending upon when you listen to this, but it's only open for, I was gonna say a few more days, but it's only open through May 23rd. So you can go to buildmathminds.com slash enroll, and then select which course you are interested in to get the information and get enrolled. And if you aren't able to take the course right now, then I'd encourage you to start investigating how to build your students' number sense because that is the key to building math fluency. So check out other podcast episodes that I have and over at the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash buildmathminds because I have a whole playlist on number sense as well. So until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, Keep building math minds.